This is Lee Buckner, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the calculation of real GDP and then also real GDP per capita. So first, real GDP is a measurement of the value of production in a country in a year, but in the prices for a defined year. So I've got up at the top here some uh, economic data. Uh, nominal GDP, which is the value of what's produced in a given year in that year's prices. So in year one, there was five billion dollars worth of stuff produced in year one prices. Year five, there was six uh, trillion dollars worth of stuff produced in year five prices. But then what I want to do is convert all of these nominal calculations to be based on the same types of prices. Uh, that would be a real GDP calculation. So in order to do that, we need uh, both the nominal GDP values and also some sort of price index. Uh, commonly what's used here is the consumer price index, um, but there's lots of different options that economists use uh, in different contexts. So first, the formula. Real GDP is calculated as the nominal GDP divided by the price index for that year, then times 100. So what we're going to do is look at our base year for our price index, which is when the price index is 100. That's going to be wind up being year three. So that's our, our base year. And all the prices we calculate for right here for real GDP calculations will be in those base year or year three prices. So our real GDP in year one equals the nominal GDP in year one. That's the five uh, billion dollars time I'm sorry divided by the price index for that year and then times 100 and what we get there is a number bigger than the nominal GDP was for that year so in year one prices they produce this country produced five uh, billion dollars for the stuff but year one prices are lower than year three prices so if you adjusted that price levels up to year three prices you get a value 5.3, which is bigger than the 5 we started with. Now, let's walk through that calculation for years 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, real GDP in year 2 equals the nominal GDP in year 2 divided by the price index for year 2, then also times 100. Year 3 you get the nominal value for year three divided by the price index for year three then times 100. Notice that nominal GDP for year three and real GDP for year three are the same thing. That's because we set all of the prices to be based on year three prices. So the value of what's produced in year three would be uh, real GDP and nominal GDP being the same. For year four, we're going to take the year four nominal value, divide that by the year four price index, multiply that by 100, and that's our value there, 5.6. And for year five, we take the nominal value in year five, divide that by the price index in year five, then multiply that by 100, and we get this number 5.8. Now, let's take a moment before we move to real GDP per capita calculation to look at these values. Look at the nominal values. We went from five uh, billion dollars to a little over six. That's like a 20% increase in GDP from year one to year five. That seems like a really huge jump over the course of a couple of years. But when you measure all of these changes in the same price level, which is how you create a real value, you really go from 5.3 uh, to 5.8. It grows but when you adjust for those increases in prices, it doesn't really grow that much, or certainly not as much as what you're seeing in the nominal GDP growth. That's why it's really important when you calculate GDP between different years, you've got to adjust for price levels to make sure that they're looking at the same price levels. You've got to create real GDP calculations. If you don't do that, you're going to wind up misunderstanding GDP growth. You're going to really wind up thinking that economies are growing much, much, much faster. Say so they're making much, much, much more stuff than they really are. Um, when you control for those price levels, what we're seeing in this country is that, yeah, the country's making more stuff, 
but when you adjust for prices, it's really going from about 5.3 to 5.8. That's about a 10% increase, not the 20% increase when you only look at the nominal values. Okay, so our other calculation for this video is real GDP per capita. Real GDP per capita is a measurement of how much stuff a country makes per person that lives in the country. So again, with the real GDP, that's looking at changes in GDP over time, but the per capita part looks at the population. So what we're going to do for our calculation, real GDP per capita, is take the real GDP and divide it by the population. It's how much stuff made per person. So for year one, if we're going to measure real GDP for each of these five years, um, in the year three uh, price levels, we need the real GDP for each of those years, which we just calculated, as well as the population for each of those five years. So I want you to note something. I put another column over here, population. I'm showing that this country is growing a population by about 2.5% per year. Um, just for reference, the United States is growing uh, over the last decade or two has grown anywhere from 1 to 3 percent in population per year. So that's kind of a number you would expect to see in the United States, at least in recent history. So real GDP per capita in year one is calculated as follows. The equation is it equals the real GDP in year one, that's over here, divided by the population in year one, we're saying for this country it's 100,000, and we get a value of $53,000. That's the amount of stuff produced per person in this country in year one, measured in year three prices. For year two, if we take our year two real GDP, divide that by the year two population, we get this value, 52,000. If we calculate the year three real GDP, divided by the year three population, we get this value. For year four, real GDP, divided by population in uh, year four, we get this value. And then lastly, if we do the year five real GDP, divide that by the year five population, we get this value. Now look at this. Smaller, smaller, a uh, little bit bigger, a little bit bigger um, as we're moving through the calculations. But they're all basically within a couple percentage points, the same thing. 53, 52, 52, 52, 52, basically unchanged here. So we've got some real contradictions I want to address quickly before I end this video. Nominal GDP over that five year period increased from 5 billion to a little over 6 billion. That's a uh, um, quite a big jump, over 20%. When you adjust that for inflation, though, we're only getting uh, about a 10% increase from that 5.3 in year one real GDP to the year five, 5.8 real GDP. So that's controlling that inflation a little bit, showing that we're not making that much more stuff. This measurement over here, real GDP per capita, is measure how much stuff we're making per person in the country. Now, a lot of ways we think about this as a measurement of the wealth of a country. Although, note, it does not say anything about the distribution of wealth in that country, but it does uh, give a good reflection of the total wealth produced in a country per year. That number is basically unchanged from year one to year five, meaning that even though the country is making more stuff from year one to two to three to four to five, even when you uh, control for inflation with that real calculation, the population is going up too. So the output per person is basically flat.